This is a story all about how Odysseus's world got turned upside down. He had a running with a couple of siren. Their songs made his journey awfully tiring. He made his men stuck their ears with beeswax, even when they saw the sirens so they could relax. Then there's a Scylla, a nasty creature, nothing like a beautiful teacher. She crept through the sea, looking for prey, but when she got to Odysseus, it just wasn't her day. Then there's the Crybdis, lurking the waters, spinning up the whirlpools three times a day. So the men took their chance with the Scylla, they figured they'd go with the one least likely to kill you. Odysseus didn't tell his men of Xerxes' last prophecy, that he will be the last survivor of the journey. Odysseus then says to his men, now we all knew, this will soon be the end. Don't listen to the song, the sirens sing. That will bring the end of our notorious fling. So onward they went, and they made it through. That made for a very happy crew. Then the winds came to a halt. Odysseus knew it was Poseidon's fault. But off with the wax and the captain free, the leader and his men were filled with glee. They started a spin, sending the ship in circles like a fish with one fin. With words of courage, Odysseus yelled to his men to stay strong to the end. He put on armor and grabbed a spear. He was going to kick the Scylla right in the rear. Then the crib just came back with might, giving Odysseus and his men quite a fright. With men being taken, he couldn't be shaken. Odysseus sailed into the darkness of night. Watching his men die was a terrible sight. But he knew he was to do what could never be done and travel straight to the island of the sun.